the No Fate Channel checking in, and on this episode of Community Cultivation, I'll be discussing your public library, what it has to offer you and your family beyond just books, and ways that you can help improve it. Stay tuned. Your local library has a lot more to offer you and your family than just loaning out books. Today's public libraries now offer electronic books, uh, books on CD, music, movies, internet access, and passes and coupons to local museums, zoos, and aquariums. They also have classes and events that they put on. Um, my local library in Drake, Massachusetts, they have classes for toddlers, they have book clubs, they've got preschool classes, they've got learn to read classes, they also have book clubs for adults. Um, this summer they had a whole week dedicated to Harry Potter's 20th anniversary and they had tons of activities around that event. Um, movies, dressing up, costumes, uh, readings, etc. Just tons to offer the community. Many people think to have a great public library you need to live in an ultra wealthy town and that is simply not true. The difference between good and bad libraries is community involvement. Almost 10% of all public libraries budgeting comes from donations, fundraisings, book sales, and other events that generate money for the library. So how can you help improve your local public library? It is easy. Number one, get involved, stay involved. You wanna be informed of all the events and activities that they have going on even if you're not gonna to go to them. You can do this through their webpage or social media accounts. Participate in the activities that make sense to you and your family and share these activities with others to increase awareness. Secondly, you can donate to your public library. Sure, you can donate cash and obviously that's great, but if you can't donate cash, they would love used books. They take these books, they sell these books at book sales and they raise money for the public library to improve the activities and events and also the resources that they have then to spread out to the community. Remember, the difference between a good and bad public library is community involvement. So take advantage of everything your library has to offer, participate, and help improve your library for yourself and your community. Thanks for watching, and as usual, don't save anything for the trip back.